Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 1, Lesson Number 19, the last lesson of Module 1. And today we are creating and solving multi-step word problems from given tape diagrams and equations. So there are four problems on tonight's homework, and I'm only going to do one of those because I want to make sure that I leave lots of space for you guys to show your creativity and your ability to both create word problems and actually solve doing the mathematics of those word problems. Okay, so let's take a look at the one problem I'm going to work with you on tonight. I'm going to work on the maybe the most difficult of these, which is to number four, to draw a tape diagram to model the following equation. Create a word problem. Solve for the value of the variable. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I see we've got, it looks like part, 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 whole. Like three parts and a whole. So I gotta figure out some story that involves three parts and then a whole. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna I think I've got a story in mind. I'm not gonna write the whole story, but I'll tell you what my story is gonna be. And then we'll do a tape diagram and then we'll solve it. Okay? Alright. I have a friend named Steve, and his job, one of his jobs is to eradicate mosquitoes. And so I'm gonna say that Steve has been told to kill as many mosquitoes as possible in three weeks. And then on the first week, he killed 27,894 mosquitoes. And on the third week, he killed 6,892 mosquitoes. And that overall, over the three weeks, he killed 40,392 mosquitoes. But that leaves this week. How many did he kill in that second week? All right, so that's my story problem. Let's see if I can make a tape diagram that makes sense of that. So I would say in week one, he killed 27,894 mosquitoes. In week two, we don't really know. Right? And in week three, he killed... 6,892 mosquitoes, and overall, he killed 40,392 mosquitoes. Awesome. So, if this were a two-part problem, where we just had this, un this known and this unknown, we could say it was part, part, whole, and we could just do subtraction, but we've got part, 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 whole, so I think what we need to do is add weeks one and three together, and then we'll be able to do subtraction, whole minus this part, and that'll give us this part, okay? So let's do the addition first. 27,894 mosquitoes plus 6,892 mosquitoes. Let's go ahead and add those together. Let's see, the f in the ones column, four plus two is six. In the tens column, nine plus nine is 18, so the eight goes here and the one is recorded under. In the hundreds column, eight plus eight plus one is 17. Seven goes here, one goes here. In the thousands column, seven plus six plus one is 14. There's a four, one recorded underneath. And in the 10 thousands column, two plus one is three. Okay, so we know that in the weeks one and three, he killed that many mosquitoes, 34,786. And that we know in all three weeks, he killed this number. So now all that's left for us to do is to do the subtraction. We've got the whole 40,392. We'll subtract what he killed on in weeks one and three, 786, and that will give us how much he killed in week two. So let's see. We've got to look at each place value to see if we have enough. Do we have enough ones? Oh, we got trouble. We can't take two minus six, so we're going to need to decompose one of the tens into ones. That'll give us 12 ones. I know it's on our tens. Eight minus eight, yep, that works. 3 minus 7, we got trouble again. Uh-oh, we've got double trouble, right? Because we don't have any thousands that we can decompose. So we have to go all the way out to the 10,000s, take one of those 10,000s, decompose it into thousands, and then take one of the thousands and decompose it into hundreds, giving us 13 hundreds. And let's see if the rest of it works. So we've got enough hundreds now, 13 minus 7. We've got enough thousands, 9 minus 4. And we've got enough 10,000s, 3 minus 3. So we can go ahead and do our subtraction. In the ones, 12 minus 6 is 6. In the tens, 8 minus 8 is 0. In the hundreds, 13 minus 7 is 6. In the thousands, 9 minus 4 is 5. And in the ten thousands, 3 minus 3 is 0. So we've got our answer. Our answer is, in week 2, he killed 5,606 mosquitoes. And that's actually going to be... I didn't. Know, I know we didn't write our full, um, our full word problem, but... I'm going to say Steve 
killed 5,606 mosquitoes in week two. Awesome. This is pretty good. You know, and I think I misspelled mosquitoes too. So I think I got to write, write that out. I think there's an ES on that. Yep. There we go. O E S. There we go. He killed 5,606 mosquitoes in week two. Awesome. So now we've created a word problem. It's multi step. We've diagrammed it all out using our tape diagram. We figured it out in our two steps, right? We figured out what two of the parts added up to, and then we use subtraction to figure out the whole minus those two parts to give us the remaining unknown part. And we're done. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems, and thank you for joining me for all of Module 1. I look forward to seeing you again once we hit Module 2. Take care.